one thing scientists have found from studying planet Earth is that anywhere there is water, there is life. Of Jupiter's 67 known moons, one of its smallest, Europa, may be the most likely place to find life in our solar system today, says NASA. And while there are some crucial components necessary to produce life, it looks like the little moon has it all covered. From water to chemistry to energy, the ingredients to harbor life are all accounted for, thanks to the deep, salty oceans that are strongly suspected to be hidden beneath Europa's frozen crust. Here are seven telltale signs of alien life from out of this world. Seven, the environment. Mighty Jupiter is incomprehensibly large, more massive than all the other planets and asteroids in the solar system combined. Jupiter is the size of 1,300 Earths. As if such a big guy needed any additional protection, Jupiter is also swathed in intense radiation that's thousands of times harsher than the magnetic field around Earth. On the surface, the moon is covered in a thick ice shell and glimpses of water bursting from pockets in the exterior have led scientists to believe there is a salty ocean beneath the ice. Could this ocean water be like our own, full of microbes and amino acids signifying another existence? Europa's heavy radiation would pose a serious threat to any living organisms, however. Yet scientists have determined that the thick ice shell would well protect life below the surface from such harmful effects. 6. A source of water Lucky for us, expeditions around Jupiter in the 1990s and 2000s allowed scientists to get a glimpse of active plumes on Europa's surface. Much like an ice geyser that sprays ocean waters a few miles into space before falling back to the surface, these bursts of water would allow life to get from the ocean below to the surface above. If that ocean water were like ours on Earth, the microbial life forms would be unlikely to survive the brief off-world excursion. But byproducts of life might. The ongoing study to discover the possibility of life on Europa seeks to determine how these byproducts would survive and whether they might be detectable by a future NASA mission. The agency is thus developing a flyby expedition known as Europa Clipper a two-year mission scheduled to launch in the early 2020s. While it would be extremely difficult for Europa Clipper to get too close to the moon's active field, the plume could offer a way for spacecraft to sample the buried ocean liquid water without even touching down on the moon. Before we continue, please take a moment to subscribe to What Lurks Below. Be sure to give the video a like if you are enjoying it, and hit the bell to get notified of future releases that are out of this world such as this one. 5. Salt In the late 1990s, Europa got really interesting when the Galileo mission found evidence of its subsurface liquid saltwater ocean. The fact that it is salty gives us clues that the water may be in contact with rock, a process that could provide energy in the water to feed microbial life. Scientists have since determined what kind of salt there actually is normal table salt or sodium chloride, which is the same as Earth. This is a good indicator of potential life at hidden depths. As life we know it needs liquid water and energy. Europa's liquid ocean tells us there is liquid water and a source of energy to stop it from freezing. As the chemical makeup of the ocean is also crucial, brine, salty water, has a lower freezing point than pure water, meaning it makes the water more habitable. Salt, specifically the sodium ions in table salt, is also crucial for a whole range of metabolic processes in plant and animal life. For those hoping there is life on Europa, the discovery of sodium chloride is outstanding news. 4. Hydrogen present on the moon On Earth, our oceans make hydrogen through something called serpentinization. This is where salty seawater soaks into cracks in Earth's crust and reacts with the minerals there to produce hydrogen and heat, two important ingredients for life. This potential was the first thing scientists turned to, and they were astounded with their findings. 
Based on how the moon has cooled since its formation, they were able to calculate that it might have fractures in its rocky interior as deep as 15 miles. That's roughly five times deeper than the cracks on Earth. This means that there is plenty of room for hydrogen to be formed, as the ocean water percolates into those cracks. 3. Oxygen is vital to life Findings quickly turned to the potential for oxygen to form, which could occur when the frozen water molecules on the ice surface are split apart from cosmic radiation. NASA's team predicts that these elements would then be cycled back in the very depths of the ocean. The result? Europa has hydrogen and it has oxygen. Yet the missing link is life. If life and biological process complete the cycle, then we're a few steps closer to finding out whether life inhabits Jupiter's moon. 2. Chemicals present on Earth Research of our own geology has determined that volcanic activity is the kickstart to the formation of life. Yet without volcanism present on Europa, NASA is hard at work to examine passive processes that can help form life and see if the moon is capable of the same thing. Our studies have shown that the chemical balance of those oceans on Jupiter's moon would be very similar to ours on Earth. We can assume that there'd be enough hydrogen and oxygen there for life to form without volcanic activity. Researchers at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory are studying the alien ocean using methods developed to understand the evolution of energy and nutrients in Earth's own systems. The cycling of oxygen and hydrogen in Europa's ice ocean will be a major driving force for the Moon's ocean chemistry and possible life within, just as on Earth. Comparing Europa's potential in creating these elements to the process on Earth showed that the amounts of both hydrogen and oxygen would be the same in scale. And on both worlds, oxygen production is 10 times higher than hydrogen production. 1. The Execution Plan NASA aims to hunt for such samples on the Europa Clipper flyby mission in an effort to study the Moon up close during dozens of flybys, some of which might be able to zoom through the Moon's suspected water vapour plumes. Further, NASA is also working on a possible post-Clipper lander mission, which would search for evidence of life at or near the Europa surface. Researchers claim that a Europa lander would need to get below the surface in order to find anything beneath the ice, since it orbits within Jupiter's radiation belts and is bombarded by fast-moving charged particles. Such extreme conditions would certainly turn amino acids and other possible biosignatures into mush. Researchers have decided to drill, and the good news is they only need to barely scratch the surface. Where Jupiter's radiation hits hardest, the surface is too continually battered for some amino acids to thrive, yet 4 to 8 inches down, these building blocks of protein would be far more protected. All a future lander would need to do is take a core sample deep enough to find the amino acids and confirm that Europa is indeed ripe for life. What theories do you have about alien life in outer space? Share your comments here. And don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below for more mind-blowing mysteries of the deep.